all parts of you, all parts of you are welcome in this room. You can tell yourself that. All parts of you can receive from this evening. And you can feel free to just be. There is no pressure to do anything here. There are incredible people and I'm so happy because many people at these events form new best friends and it's really nice to see. What's super exciting is that it's been revealing itself through this whole process of the Flower Lounge. We've been to four different cities, now we're at our home base, and it's all coming together and getting clearer and clearer that the flower remedies are the things that illuminate and unravel these patterns that are contributing to our physical ailments. There is an energy and life force being emitted from plants and flowers all the time and we feel it. If we go walk in the woods or the desert, it's not just the oxygen, there's something else happening, right? There's these invisible waves being emitted from botanicals and flowers. So I think all the data we've recently received and all the feedback that we've gotten from this whole tour is very inspiring. There's so much potential for these remedies to get to a root cause of an illness or an injury or a recurring pattern. And I feel like these practitioners that we are working with right now are so inspired. They're gung-ho. They really want to take these remedies into each and every treatment that they do because they know that they're effective and they're simple. It's been a beautiful, a beautiful journey. And I can't wait for the, for the expansion. It really genuinely feels like a ripple. At every flower lounge, we decorate the entire space with flowers and build mandalas on the floor. And we don't throw those flowers away. <laughs> like they are divine, you know, offerings. So we gather them all up at the end of the night and we save them and we invite whoever wants to come and show up at sunrise to join us in a flower offering. We do a particular practice, a love embodiment practice that we've been doing for months in preparation of the tour and, and will continue to do every single day. So we gather up all of those flowers and dedicate all of the time and the effort and the energy and the intention that goes behind everything that we're doing. This giant offering, the Ripple the Void tour, the healing sessions, the drinks, the flower essence, everything is all gathered up and in the flower offering we dedicate all of that. Dedicate it to the service of others. I dedicate it to just a moment of peace for every being. I dedicate this to everyone's heart opening more and just expansion. I dedicate it to Mother Earth for keeping us grounded in the moment. I dedicate this to all of our difficulties, all of our obstacles, and our ability to be able to overcome and surrender into them. May it accelerate our path of awakening and everyone that we're connected to. So as everyone was meditating, this beautiful bald eagle swooped in and did the swirling moves and dropped a feather into the water and then flew off. It was incredible. Was it you saw it too? Mm -hmm. yes. I watched it.